first thing we need to do is make a contact form. You can use um, Microsoft Word, InDesign, or any other program that is similar. So we're going to start out by making a contact form. The name, address, um, age, oops, let's make this a little bigger. Um, date of birth, and we'll just put a comments box. All right, now let's make this look a little more pretty here. Okay, get our text tool here, and one here. Now we're going to make spaces so they can fill it out. So we'll get about all the way to the end of there, all the way to the end of there, and so on. We'll actually go one below for the comments, because comments are generally more than just one line. Give them a lot of room here. Alright, now it's important to go ahead and save this. Then we're going to export it as a PDF. We'll go ahead and save it on the desktop. Overwrite it from earlier. Alright, keep it that way, we're going to export it this way. Alright, now I have PDF. I do have Adobe Acrobat Pro and this is what you'll need to do this. So once I'm in here, I'm going to go to my forms and I'm going to go add or edit fields. What it does is it, it tries to find fields that you have in this form and it actually can't find any so it's actually going to make some. Alright, so it found all those and it did a pretty good job at finding those. So I like name, I like address, I like age, I like date of birth. However, I want this to be in the comment section. I don't want three different ones. So I'm going to erase this one, this one, this one, and I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. So do this. Put this comment box. Show all properties. All right. We're not going to make it required. Oops. So comment drawn. Like the appearance the way it is. We're going to make it multi-line so they can go on more than one line. All right. Good. Now for the date of birth. We're just going to go in here and format and change it to date and the kind of date that we want. All right. And we also have the option to make them required. So go to general, required. All right. Now the next thing we need to do is add a submit button. So you go here, it looks kind of like a drop down button. All right, so we're going to call it submit, make it a required field. All right, double click on it. We're going to change the tooltip to submit, required, keep appearance the way it is. Um, and options, I don't want to put submit, add. This gives the word submit on the button. That way you actually have something to read. Alright, now we're going to get the action here. Mouse up, submit a form, add. Alright, this is where you enter the URL that you want the information sent to. So, ma mail to um, your email, 
at your email.com. You can also add more, just put a comma there. And we're going to go into PDF the complete document. This gives us um, the complete document and not just the data. All right. All the rest of this is okay. We'll press close. All right. Now we're going to close the form editing. And as you can see, I can fill it out. Brandon, you know, address, age. 75, date of birth, um, 04, 05, 88, or whatever. Oh, and it also wants you to do the right format, so 04, 05, 88. Alright, now the only, the only drawback to the comment section is that in InDesign I made all of these lines and actually all these lines do not match up to the, the text box so if I put in um, contact see how it goes in the middle it is probably best to just leave the lines out and it, that will just work fine contact me at and I would just leave the lines out alright so then I submit and it's going to ask me if I want to open up my desktop application or my internet email. I would probably use my desktop application. And that's it. That's how you make a contact form. You can make that contact form. You can bring that in from Microsoft Word, InDesign. You can use basically whatever program you want to use to make that contact form. The key is to make it into the PDF so Adobe Acrobat Pro can read it. Thank you very much for watching.